Hi, Chem Team. Uh, in order to predict how elements will bond together, uh, chemists will create things called Lewis structures. Uh, so for instance, if chemists wanted to predict how nitrogen, hydrogen, and two fluorine atoms uh, would bond together, uh, they'd first look at the valence uh, shells of each atom uh, to determine their stability. Uh, so for instance, hydrogen has uh, one valence electron in its first shell, and it would need two in order to fill that first shell up. And so as a result, hydrogen is going to have to share uh, its orbital with another atom. Uh, these fluorines, meanwhile, each have seven valence electrons in their valence shell, and they'd need eight valence electrons to become stable. And so they will have to share uh, one of their orbitals as well. Nitrogen, meanwhile, has uh, five out of eight valence electrons in its valence shell, and so it's going to have to share uh, three orbitals to become stable. Now, uh, of note with fluorine and with nitrogen, uh, their other orbitals are already filled by lone pairs, or electrons that they're not having to share. So when creating a Lewis structure on how these four atoms will bond, generally they will first identify uh, the central atom of the molecule they're looking to create, uh, which will generally be whichever atom has the most unpaired orbitals that they need to share. And in this case, that's nitrogen, which needs to share three orbitals. So they'll draw that element in the center of their atom. Uh, and then they will arrange the other atoms, or the terminal atoms, uh, at the ends of the molecules. So fluorine's unpaired orbital and one of nitrogen's unpaired orbitals will pair together uh, to stabilize fluorine. Fluorine now has access to two, four, six, eight valence electrons. Uh, and we draw a box around these two electrons to show that they are sharing an orbital. And we'll do the same thing with this fluorine. This fluorine has one unpaired electron, which we will partner up with one of nitrogen's unpaired electrons uh, in the process stabilizing this fluorine atom. Uh, and we'll do the same thing with hydrogen. To give hydrogen uh, the two valence electrons that it needs to fill up its outer shell. Now, after we have formed uh, all three of these covalent bonds, we have shared all three of these valence orbitals, uh, nitrogen now has two, four, six, eight valence electrons in its valence shell, and we have a completely stable molecule. And that's it. At this point, you guys have a couple of practice problems. We'll see you in class tomorrow.